So guys, we're here at the Diplomat Hotel. guys, Our Lady of Lourdes Grotto is a Catholic shrine and pilgrimage located in Dominican Hill in Baguio City, Philippines. So this site actually features Virgin Mary and another close statue which is Jesus Christ. You need to climb 252 steps upstairs! Oh my gosh! Whew, that's so tiring. But yeah, I want to show you guys what it looks like from the top. And let me tell you, this site is mm, perfect, delicious. So yeah, let's go! So when you're halfway there, you can see three statues which are just behind me. So let me show you guys a close-up, plus the view. So one of the main things I like about Lourdes Grotta is because it is surrounded by nature, so yeah. We are halfway there, we can do it. Let's walk a little bit more. So in this part of Lourdes Grotta, you can also actually see the view from above as well. So yeah, I was so tired in this part, I was losing my breath. Alright guys, we are finally here. So let me guys show you the view of the statues and mother nature. You guys honestly need to go here. It was very worth it. By the way, you guys have to keep on watching because the next stop is one of the scariest hotels here in Baguio City. Pom pom pom. By the way, as you guys can see, there are candles here so that you can request a prayer for your loved ones. We made it here in Lourdes Grotto. It's such a very tiring walk upstairs. It's also very challenging. So yeah, let's go to our next stop, which is Diplomat Hotel. Let's go. Hotel. We shall go inside. It's just first time going here. Specifically me and my brother. So 
So this hotel was built in 1913. With the outbreak of World War II, it became a camp for refugees from the Japanese. Okay guys, so they say that this is where the weeping girl stays. They always hear a girl crying in this place, in this part of the hotel. The Japanese secret police, which were the Kempeitai, committed terrible acts of brutality, massacring and torturing many inhabitants and even decapitating nuns and priests. Many people even saw headless apparitions at night and reported hearing screams and cries, banging on doors and hearing desperate noises. Then after a while, it burnt down. sure which world they were talking about the girl with but this is another one From up here, which is the first floor, you can see the well. So we're here at the rooftop. So guys, we are gonna go up the stairs. Thank you.
the city of pines. That part is the back part of Diplomat Hotel and now we're in the side. So yeah, enjoy the view. Okay guys, so we are leaving Diplomat Hotel and my next stop is White House. So let's go. because the guard said it's private property so I'm just going to show you how it looks like from the outside so guys this is the La Peral White House it was built in the 1930s by Roberto La Peral it's made out of Nara and Yak Halwood. During the World War II, the house was occupied by Japanese soldiers and was used as a garrison. The troops tortured women and even men and killed suspected spies working for the United States and their allies. And since then, people spotted unearthly beings near the house. The house also stood in the deadly 1990 earthquake and also many more. So take a look at it. Okay guys, our next stop is the mansion house, so let's go. We're here at the mansion house. 
So the mansion house here in Baguio City is the official summer palace of the President of the Philippines. The architect of the mansion house is William E. Parsons and it was actually built in 1908. So yeah, here's the view. Now that I've shown you the mansion house, we're now going to Mines View Park. So let's go. So guys, Mines View Park is open all year, every year. Well, except for when the coronavirus hit. It's an overlooked park on the northeastern outskirts of Baguio City. It's one of the oldest and most famous attractions here in Baguio City. And the view is amazing. Guys, meet strawberry. 
so cute. Okay. So guys, let me show you the view. Yeah. Okay guys, then showing you guys the view. Hold up, there are dogs here. to be one of the oldest churches here in Baguio City, so let's check that out. Guys, just a correction, it's St. Joseph Parish Church, so... So by the way guys, my mom used to study here in high school. SLP St. Louis of Pactal. Bring back any memories, mother? So my mom told me that before there was actually no building there, there is one. So.
So St. Joseph Parish Church is actually located in Pakdal, Baguio City. This church is said to be Gothic inspired. Its stained glass windows are illuminating the church's interior which looks amazing. You'll also find an image of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And in the other side lies the church's patron saint, St. Joseph the Worker. So guys, that's the end of the video. If you guys like it, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below what you guys want me to do in my next vlog. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. All of the hardworking, caring, loving mothers out there. Also, Happy Mother's Day to my mother, Mommy Isle, and also grandmothers, and just all the mothers in general. I love you guys so much. Also, thank you for all the sacrifices that you've done for me, Mom. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. By the way, maybe next week, I am going to be trying different delicacies in famous restaurants here in Baguio City. So click that post notification button so that you guys won't miss that. But yeah, other than that, enjoy this day. Adventures out there.